via URL. There's also cases where you want to show or hide fields when editing an entry. So let me show you how to accomplish this right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to show or hide fields depending on the URL that you are using. It's useful for several use cases. Now, let me show you how to get started. Let's add a demo form for now. Let's create a form. Let's use a template and let, let's use this feedback form. Okay. Now, let's use a template and it's going to load up the form builder. Okay. So, to show or hide fields, we're going to need a widget. So let's click on the form elements on the left. Let's go into widgets and we're going, we're going to search for URL. We're going to get this get form page URL. Let's drag it in the bottom right here. There we go. And let's add a field that we can show or hide just for demo purposes. So let's drag in a short text. Okay. And we'll say for testing. Okay. So we have this ready. Now let's go into the settings. In the settings, we're going to go into conditions and in conditions, we're going to select show or hide fields. So let's go ahead and select it and we're going to get started with the if. So if this happens, you're going to do this. All right. We're going to select get page URL. So go ahead and select it. The state if it contains and we're going to use a value. And for this value, we're going to use edit as the trigger word. So what do we want to do with this? Well, we want to hide a field in this case, because it's obviously showing already for testing. The one that we just created, we want to hide it because it's showing. So let's go ahead and save this. And remember, if it contains edit, it's going to hide that field. So it's going to publish. Let's open in a new tab. And for now, we can go ahead and view this. You can see it's you can view it for testing and we're not going to be able to view the widget. So don't worry about that. Okay, so now we want to hide this. So in the link that we have on the top, we're going to add a question mark, for example, and we're going to say edit. So I'm going to click enter and now it doesn't show that field. So you remember if I go back, there it is for testing. If I go to the edit, the link that has edit, it hides it. So that's a really useful way and unique, unique use cases that you can use to hide fields or show them. Now let's do the other way around. Okay. So let's go back into our form. Let's go into the builder. And in this case, we are going to hide it first. So in properties, we're going to go into options, advance, and we're going to hide the field. Okay. So now it's hidden. You can see it's kind of grayish here because it's hidden. And for the conditional logic, let's change it now. Let's go into settings. Let's go into conditions. Click on the little pencil to edit this. And in this case, we don't want to hide it because it's already hidden. In this case, we want to show it. Okay. So let's go ahead and save it and let's go ahead and publish and test it. Open in a new tab. You can see it's hidden. We don't see the, the field that says for testing. Let's add to the link a question mark and edit word. We'll go ahead and click enter and now it pops up. Now it's a really useful use case to show or hide fields depending because we can mask it in the link with the edit word. We can use it for different type of fields that we want to show or hide depending how you automate the process or when the emails are sent out. If it's going to have that word to allow them to show or hide that field based on the link that we have that word that we said as the value. But there you go. That is how you can show and hide fields based on the URL using the widget that we've just added. We thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe the video and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.